Chris, we're stood in front of your brand new ABX80 THY. So what can you tell me about this machine? So 80 mil capacity on the main spindle, 65 mil capacity on the sub, um, three 12 station turrets as well. Now that's gonna give your customers a lot more versatility and flexibility on the parts they're gonna to wanna to make. Yep. So what turrets can do which spindles? So head one, only main spindle. Head three, only the sub spindle. And head two can work either spindle. What other upgrades have you made to this to make it more stable? Um, the ball screws. So the ball screws have gone from um, 25 mil up to 32 mil now. So more power and more stable. Who doesn't want more power? Power is best. Now, what about the, the power in the spindles as well? So the power has been upgraded on them. So both spindles are 18 kilowatt now. So really hefty spindle power. Now, obviously that must be quite a big jump from the previous sub spindle. Oh yeah, massively. So it was only seven and a half on the, on the sub before. Now surely that's gonna give customers more options on programming, because to me, you would normally program all your heavy cutting on the main spindle, but you don't need to do that anymore. Yeah, you've basically got a main spindle on the sub spindle now. So lean on the sub now. Again, lean on the machine. And we know you guys here are not afraid to push these machines. So what demonstrations have you done on these? And what, what do you think of the machine? I like the machine. I like it's big, easy to access. The new control over there as well. Like all, all machines, gone down to the touchscreen route. So it's the new Fanuc 31i control. Um, they've made it a, like a, a little bit more user friendly. So you don't normally have to go through a window into a window into a window. So they've put more keys onto one screen to make it a bit more user friendly. Um, and you know, everybody wants a touch screen, so it looks nice. Now I'm glad you said that because to me, the new generation are all on phones and yeah. tablets. You can now run a machine off it. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's what people want. So give them what they want. Now, Chris, we know Citizen is right up there with high precision, high accuracy. So what technology have you brought into this machine to help customers hit them tolerances every time? So there's this new technology called spindle sensing. It's very new to me as well, but it will be able to measure if the bearing's about to fail or if the spindle is running out due to uh, poor work holding, poor material, or uh, you know anything causing the spindle to run out. So it has a sensor at the back of the spindle and the front, and it will tell you if it's good or bad. So it's great to see you guys looking out for your customers with technology like that. That could also help with preventative maintenance. Now, what size of work can you do in this machine? Because it is a big machine with a very big working envelope. Yeah, so again, 80 mil through the spindle. The new parts unloader will take seven kilos by 150 mil long. So pretty hefty part. So is that the only part catcher you can have on this machine? So it's a brand new machine, so you'll have to just wait and see what happens. So Chris, is this machine here now ready for customers to come and visit? Yeah, so we'll be setting this up um, next week and we'll be ready for a demonstration anytime afterwards. So if anyone at home has seen something about this machine they would like to know more about, surely they can get in contact with you, but also visit your Citizen Turning Centre of Excellence here at Brower Hill. Yep, happy to have you come down, have a look and have a coffee with us.